Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Ninja XTX. And welcome to the weekly philosophy video. Um, this video is actually the. Let me see here. Uh, I believe it's the 68th video in my fourth round of philosophy videos. Now, today, what we're going to talk about is something that I've talked about before and I'm going to kind of expand upon it. That is direction. Now, some of us go through life knowing what we're going to do because because God has said that, and God has told us what we are put on this earth to do. It is in our it is in our psyche already. Some of us it takes a little longer to find out what God has in store for us. Um. Is either path good or bad? No. Because either path is going to lead you to where you need to be. When you're searching, you can get caught up by a lot of worldly uh, detractors or or Things that would distract you from what you're bound to do. Or when you're focused on what you're put on this earth to do, things can still come up around and distract you. In both instances, you have to stay focused. But how do you do that? Well, here's my philosophy on that. If you get tripped up by, and you're human, let me go ahead and say that. If you get tripped up by something in your path that makes you stumble, stumbles happen. Stumbles are part of life. But it's how you have the courage to get back up and keep trying in the face of people telling you no, in the face of situations telling you no, in the face of everything being against you. What is against you can often work for you, if that makes sense. And let me explain that. What is against you can push you further into where you need to be. But you have to have the wherewithal. You have to have the, the tenacity to push, up, to rise above it, to push beyond it. I've talked about this many, 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 many times before on this channel. A lot of people said I would, a lot of people said that because I was born premature and with cerebral palsy, I wouldn't be able to do anything in life. But my Adopted mother and the people I had around me sometimes they would they would 
constantly tell me what I couldn't do. And I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. Because people, even the people around you, and the people that know you well, are going to tell you what you can and cannot do. But, and that's not necessarily a bad thing because they don't know what you can and cannot do because you don't, if they only see you as disabled, if they only see your chair or your your uh, mobility cane if you're blind or if they only see that, they're only surrounded by that, that's all they're going to lump you in. But if you can push beyond that and show them a different way, they may give you credit. They may not. But the thing about it is, you know what God has put you here to do. And if you don't know what God has put you here to do, have the faith that that you're here to do something, everyone is here to do something. And here's the thing. You find what you're here to do, do it. Focused. And if you're having trouble finding it, keep searching. Maybe that's your lot in life is to search to help other people find their destiny. Because if you help other people find their destiny and find their calling in life, that is your calling. And I truly believe that if you're finding other people find their calling, that is your blessing. Because not many people can help others discover What's special on them? What's special in them may be the fact that you stepped in and pointed out those blessings that the person has. Because being able to point out being able to point out someone's strengths is a strength. Being able to point out someone's weaknesses and help them become strengths is a strength. So, if you haven't necessarily found your calling, search for it. Keep searching. Do not give up. So, I guess today's topic is purpose. Everyone has a purpose in life. If they did not, they would not be here. Even though you think your job is menial, if no one was there to do that menial job, how many things would fall away to the wayside? So, you do the best you can at that job that you have. And maybe the day, tomorrow, uh, the next day, you never know when somebody's going to bless you and say, Hey, I want you to do that job for me for X amount of money. For this, for that. But it's not about the money. It's about how much of a blessing you can be to other people. So... Find the purpose in your blessing. And bless that purpose. I hope that made sense for you guys. I hope that took someone's heart. I hope that made someone think about how they may be living life. Peace, take care of yourselves and each other. One world, one love. If you have any questions, comments, or requests, please send them to my YouTube account. Or if you know how to get in touch with me on my personal Facebook Please go ahead and do so there. Thank you guys for watching. God bless. I will see you guys tomorrow. 
for um another another chair bound a screenless um video. So goodbye for now.